Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Come to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God, a God who deserves all of our praise, a God who is greater than all things and yet loves us individually right down to our core. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Psalm 62, beginning at verse 1. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. You know, as I think about these words of King David, uh, just the idea that, uh, you know, when God is in charge, we don't have to worry. Uh, when God is in charge, we don't have to, uh, to, to fret. We don't have to uh, be concerned. We don't have to, you know, do all those things that come from being alone. Uh, when God is in charge, we're not alone. Now, that doesn't mean life is easy. I get that. I get we go through tough things. And, and when people have to deal with loss, um, that's... It's, it's just an enormous thing. When people have to deal with uh, the evil in our world, that can be an enormous thing, uh, an enormous pressure or uh, you know, a violation or, or whatever happens against us. Um, but the fact is, is that when God walks beside us, we are secure. We're secure in the knowledge that nothing can happen to us here on earth uh, that God can't overcome, that the devil can't take us away from God, that he doesn't have the power, he doesn't have the means, all he can do is try to tempt us to disbelieve, tempt us to, to walk away from our faith. And yet when we stay strong in the Lord, when we follow him, when we study the scriptures, when we pray and, in that, and we're in that relationship, uh, nothing can come between us. Um, although the devil may try, uh, he, he can't succeed unless we give in to him. It's really uh, all about our choice. Uh, God has given us the choice and God has given us the power to overcome uh, the temptation that's in our lives. Uh, and we praise God for that. I mean, that's it's it's awesome to know that even though sometimes we may fail and uh, we don't have to fail, it's, it is our choice ultimately. But even though sometimes we may fail, God's grace and God's love is greater than that. And we can always come to him and return to him. We know that God will always help us with uh, the temptations, the addictions that we face. And God knows right where we're at. Uh, and so we can praise God. We can rely on the fact that, that God is in charge and we don't, our faith doesn't have to be shaken. Our, our resolve doesn't have to be shaken. We can know beyond a shadow of a doubt right now that God is in charge, that God has a plan, that God will walk beside us through the ups and downs, and that we can go to eternity simply by, simply by receiving Jesus in our hearts. And I know if you're watching this, you probably already believe that, uh, but let's be encouraged today to be reminded of that. The second part of that is we want to share that message with others. As we go about our business today, as we come in contact with other people, whether it's people we work with or go to school with or, or people that are just on the street that we might come across, let's remember they don't know. That there's many out there who have never met Jesus, who don't know the good news uh, of the gospel. Uh, and their, their, their eyes haven't been uh, turned on yet. The mind hasn't been turned on. They haven't got it yet. And so our prayer today is that we can simply give them some of the love that Christ has given us, that we can give them some of the grace, that we can give them some of the hope, um, that as we come in contact with them, even if it's just a smile or a handshake or whatever the case could be, let's love on people today. Let's try to be Jesus to people today. Let's share his the love that he shared with us. Um, and let's, let's just be a blessing to people. Let's see people or ask God to show us people as he sees them with his great love. You know, even the worst of sinners is still loved by God. It's still desired that God would bring them, that God would draw them to himself, that they would hear God's call and accept Jesus and turn their life around. There's so many out there today who just need Jesus. And our goal, our, our hope, our plan as human beings, as children of God, is to share God's love so that the Holy Spirit may speak to their hearts, speak into their hearts, and they might give their hearts to Jesus. Wouldn't that be awesome that they be a part of that? I don't know about you, but that would be my ultimate day today is to be able to lead someone uh, into a saving relationship with Christ. And now, again, I'm not doing the work. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. But I would love the opportunity to pray with them uh, as they make this commitment, as they find this great joy that comes from choosing Jesus as Lord. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity we'll have to come in contact with your creation. Thank you for those who don't yet know you. And we pray, Lord, that as we come in contact with them, that you would allow us to be a light of your gospel that your light would shine through us, that your love would overflow into their hearts and their lives, that you, oh God, uh, would get all the glory and all the praise and that people would come to know you. Father, if it be your will, may we have the opportunity today to lead someone in a saving faith, to 
to be a part of, of a praying with them, to be a part of the joy that comes across when they are adopted into your kingdom be alongside of us. Father, thank you for the opportunity you'll give us today to serve you. Father, please bless those today who need a special blessing, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, uh, spiritual, financial, whatever the needs are, may you match each blessing according to your will. Father, we just thank you for your great love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. As David shared this praise, I hope that you're finding praise in your heart for God today. And let's go out and share that with the world. Have a great day. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.